So I didn't actually state the units of pressure before. And that's mostly because there's there's actually six of them uh, that are used, at least uh, somewhat regularly, uh, bar one, but uh, however. So the actual unit that we use for measuring pressure in general, something again, ugh. the actual unit is known as a pascal. It was named after Frenchman Blaise Pascal. Uh, he did a lot of work in sort of uh, fluid dynamics and uh, especially chemistry as well. Uh, one pascal dimensionally is one newton per meter squared. We, we mostly tend to see pascals over newtons per meter squared. Uh, mostly because the newtons per meter squared bit is uh, mostly just for dimensional analysis rather than anything else. So we, we, we tend to see pascals used for pressure over that. Now, obviously one newton of force is like an apple over a meter squared of area is naturally very small. So we actually tend to use kilopascals more than, than actual regular pascals or any sort of uh, multiple, scientific multiple of a pascal. Uh, the next one up, megapascals, you don't actually tend to see used. It, it, it's mostly uh, between one and like at maximum probably 400 megapascals. So those are the two of them. So you have pascals and kilopascals, which are actually considered different units entirely because they're used for completely different applications, despite one of them just having a killer at the end, which is one pairs and pascals. Now the imperial system, because it likes to be different, the age pressure in particular is measured in a thing known as tors, uh, also called millimeters of mercury. For those who don't do chemistry, millimeters of mercury is written as mmhg, so millimeters in mercury, which is hg. So one millimeter in mercury is called a tor, so it's the, the pressure that's being exerted by a column of mercury on itself at a depth of one millimeter. You'll mostly see this when talking about blood systems, so anyone doing the HPAT will know about your systolic and diastolic blood pressures. I don't. I was doing research for this and found that this was being used. So when people measure their blood pressures, it'd be like, uh, I don't know what a healthy blood pressure is, but say when they say 134 over 80, uh, one of them is a systolic, one of them is diastolic, and both of them are measured in terms of tors, or millimetres of mercury. Now, you thought that was bad? Well, welcome to atmospheric pressures, uh, seeing around the news. So, you likely would have seen weather maps like this when looking at the weather forecast and wondered what they meant. Well, it, it's kind of confusing, because they tend to be either measured in hectopascals or millibars. Now, a hectopascal, you'll remember, is, uh, well, hecto meaning 100, so that's that's 100 pascals. Uh, but rather knowingly, a bar, in terms of uh, pressure, is 100 kilopascals. Now, a millibar would have to cut that in half by a factor of three zeros, which, again, makes it 100 kilopascals. So, really annoyingly, one hectopascal is actually equal to one millibar. Uh, either one is used. Uh, millibars tends to be used more from what I've seen. So we tend to see millibars, but one millibar is equal to one hectopascal. So there's another two. We have pascals, kilopascals, tors, hectopascals, millibars, all being used uh, somewhat commonly. But then we have another pressure, which is known as a standard atmosphere. So a standard atmosphere is sometimes taken to just whatever one bar is, but its actual value is 101,320 uh, and it's the pressure being exerted by the actual individual air molecules around us, which is why it's so big. So it's tiny pressure exerted over an even smaller amount of area, which is why it's so big. Uh, one atmosphere tends to be written just as ATM, so that's 101,320 pascals. And if that wasn't enough, the US actually have another uh, pressure that's mostly used for, for gaseous things, like when pumping tires, and that's known as a pound per square inch, or PSI. Uh, PSI is actually also used in diving gear uh, when considering the pressure uh, underwater, which is actually 
what well, one of the example questions is when converting between the units of pressure. So one psi is actually one six thousand eight hundred ninety fifth of a pascal, which in a slightly easier term would read one pascal is 6,895 pounds per square inch. So that's a lot, but here's a little summary page. So we have the unit hectopascal symbol HPA and it's about 100 pascals. A kilopascal is written as KPA and is 1,000 pascals. A standard atmosphere is written as ATM and is 101,320 pascals. A bar or written as millibar is written as B and is 100,000 pascals. Millimeters of mercury called the tor is mmHg and is 133 pascals. And finally, pounds per square inch written as psi and is 1 6,895th of a pascal. It's a lot of units, and we're going to do one quick example on actually converting between them.